Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be using my DTF 1000 to print a custom order of four shirts for a customer. So I already started designing them in Canva. I'll show you guys what they look like. You know those custom face tees that has you know your face all over it or concert tee those type deals so i drew up a couple of those this morning i showed them to my customer she loves them so we're gonna go ahead and get these printed and i'm thinking about adding these to my tiktok shop and my etsy on etsy i likely sell them as a png bundle where you can get four to five designs i'll add another one in it for like two dollars or something like that passive income don't say i never taught you anything to be super easy and super quick, I'm gonna go ahead and email over my design. I'll pull them up over here on this computer. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I just got another. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the designs up um, on this laptop here that I use for my DTF 1000. All right, I've sent them over. And let's go ahead and add some distilled water to my humidifier. I followed some advice from one of the technicians over at Uninet. I waited until the humidity showed at 70%. It was like 75 and I noticed that it's been printing so much better, super glossy. So before the white ink would show like a powdery look whenever it's printing and now it's showing glossy ever since I've been setting my humidity to at least 70%. I'm using distilled water and I'm just going to add it to my humidifier. Water that just came in. Thank you, God. That's how you keep the blessings alone. Uh oh, my husband's some distilled water. All right, and currently we're at 60% in this room, so we're gonna turn her on and we're gonna crank her up. And normally it's super fast. You see that? I will get the humidity up. Let's go ahead and get those designs uploaded in the software. So we're just downloading these designs. Let's check our humidity up. We're at 72%, 71, so that's perfect. This little um, humidifier, yeah, I'll link it for y'all. It works super fast. So we're just cleaning, we're just running a cleaning. I'm going to clean this wiper blade and all that good stuff as soon as my print head leaves. So turning it off really quick, let's clean that wiper blade. on here. Um, oh. Two, three, four, five. I can't figure out how to put the job cost on this printer for some reason. Alright, so let's get all of these designs up on here. And these are going on small and medium shirts. In here guys, I'm just getting the designs all centered. I would hate for my designs to start printing off of the transfer paper. So that's basically what I'm doing here. You also want to go ahead and use the crop option, which is super cool. Let's say you're, tr let's say you're printing multiple transfers, right? And you have them lined up like a gang sheet. We want to save as much room on that transfer paper as possible. So let's cut off all. All right, let's crop all of these. And I don't want to crop around the bottoms of them because I don't know where the smoke ends. So I'm just getting all over the name because that's what we know we need to do. So we have them all under 12 inches. We're going to go ahead and print this one. Let's go ahead and turn the vacuum all the way up. And I fixed that clicking sound. You guys were asking me in my first um, DTF 1000 video. So basically this carriage here, that black one that you see going back and forth, it was rubbing up against the it was rubbing up against the actual inside of the um, printer, like casing, so I had to move that. Come on, humidifier, it's solid. And then now we're just gonna go ahead and get to printing, and we're gonna see how this turns out. Alexa, stop. My baby's up here listening to baby songs, learning songs, whatever, kid songs. But I'm done with the first print. It took about four and a half minutes. Um, super big. <laughs> Turn that vacuum off. The vacuum is so loud. And let's fill it up. Yep. Fill yep. All right, you guys ready? 
There we go. Looking good, looking great. We'll just go ahead and add powder and start on the next one. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the next design, which is the silver version of the same one. And we're going to time it just to see how long it takes to print. Print, and it is 11.53 a.m. And we are already starting. Let me turn my vacuum on. So I got distracted a little bit. I had a couple of other orders come in. And this is a great, I feel like this is the great time to kind of explain and to show you guys why I would use my DTF 1000 over my bigger printer, you know? Whenever I have customs, this is my go-to. Like a custom shirt order, like four, five, seven shirts. I'll definitely go with my Uninet 1000. People always ask me, what printer should I get? Is the Uninet 1000 a good printer to start with? I think it's an amazing printer to start with, actually. Um, and if you do custom orders, you know, let's say on Etsy, if you make custom shirts using vinyl, if you're a weeder of vinyl, and you want to, and you want to incorporate DTF in your business, and you want to make your life a lot easier, definitely the DTF 1000 is a great printer to get. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I want to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all what I came up with. My customer was okay with the black shirts, but she asked for white shirts for the AKA color design. So I want to show y'all what I mean. All right, so there's the one that's gonna come out so cute. That pink and green is going to pop on that black. Um, here's another one, super cute. Super, super cute, I'm excited to press these. But this is what I was worried about. Um, she asked for the um, with her, the pink and green to go on a white shirt, but it's kind of light. Either I want to change the font color on the green um, a little darker, aka colors. There's like two to three different shades you can choose from when I check online as far as the hex color. So before I press those, I'm gonna get a response from her waiting on that. And this one, and this one here was just one that I just threw in. But again, you see that color is super light. I may put this on a tank top or something um, to just a pretty shirt. But again, I want to change that color from that light green to like a darker shade of green. But I'm super proud of these. Look at me. Go ahead, girl. This, these pet, this paper is shiny, so it makes it hard to see. But you'll see it so much better once I press them. But I'm super proud that I made these. And if you guys want to know how I make these shirts or how I make these designs, let me know. I can do a tutorial in Canva for you. All right, so I'll see you guys downstairs in a little bit. I'm printing orders for some customers, and I'm almost done. I'm on 79%, so I'm just trying to speed this up. I do have my packages already ready for the post office. Went ahead and printed my labels and got my boxes ready for my other customers. Um, so I like to do that while I'm printing just because, you know, we have to keep this ball rolling I'm a whole mama I got a thousand kids and we got to get this job done and I like to drop off my and I like to drop off my orders at the post office or UPS prior to five o'clock because that's the for sure cutoff to make sure you hit your um, shipping date your guesstimated or estimated shipping date so yeah I only have one more design to print after these that I had to fix so once it's done printing and of course I'm filming content because that's important. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys downstairs when I'm in front of the heat press, but let me go heat it up. That thing definitely takes forever to heat up. So my heat press is all like nice that. and hot. My customer still hasn't reached back out to me in regards to the color of that shirt, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get these other two pressed and I'll just wait on her. So if I don't hear from her, what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and adjust the colors myself. And then um, I'll go ahead and press them on the white shirt. And then on the other one, I'm just gonna do a cute little tank top or something. Okay, so first, uh, excuse my crybaby in the background. All right, so first up, we're gonna do this one. Let's do our pre-press first. So with these custom designs, like the concert shirts, 
the design looks so much better oversized. Trust me. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick pre-press. And then we'll go ahead and get La Mama pressed on. And people often ask me too, I wanted to mention, um, do you print Trump designs? Do you print Kamala? Do you print Biden? Do you print presidential, you know, designs? And my answer is, uh, heck yeah, of course. Is money green? Hello? So yeah, don't ever be hesitant to send me anything. You send it, I'm going to print it. And I have all of the copyright clauses and everything on my site. So honestly, it's all up to you. I'm going to go ahead and press this one. Remember, these are cold peel transfers. So, right, so we have her set where we want her. And you can totally use a shirt ruler. You can get these from Amazon. I'll link them. Everything's centered. Five and a half there and five and a half there so i'm gonna slide it over just a tad so because i'm a perfectionist but it, of course it's always preference so i have it set to 303 i have my heat press set to 303 again this is the stall Tronics heat press the best heat press yet um and we're only gonna press it for 12 seconds or 15 seconds whatever it was set to but 12 to 15 seconds is all it takes and then I'm just gonna go ahead and get this open back up and then we're gonna go ahead and set it to the side and peel it later. Right, as you can see, it's already sticking beautifully. And with these airbrush designs or clouds or smoke, not all of it will stick to the actual shirt and that's because it has to be that's because the ink has to be thick enough for the powder to adhere to so that's what you'll see there but we'll, you'll see when we peel it but as you can see like this was like some outer edges of the smoke so this was some outer edges of the smoke this will stick this will stick this won't you know which i which I'm happy about because I hate when shirts, just my own pet peeve. But it's my own personal preference. All t-shirt makers, all apparel makers have them. I hate when designs or smoke or edges of designs are just like cut off, you know? All right, so we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna wait for it to cool for about three minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and press the other one while we wait. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tags as well. And I'll do that on the post press because it's quick. Bella Candace shirts but my new favorite shirts lately y'all has been comfort colors oh so good especially with the fall coming they're super thick and they last long comfort colors seem to be in right now you know t-shirt brands and stuff change so often if you're in the t-shirt making business you already know we're just gonna do our pre-press let's go ahead and put our design on I need one of those um I need one of those foam holders that you wear on your neck. All right. So. Shirt ruler. Um, I get like four inches here and four inches there. Let's go a little bit over because you know we are perfectionist over here. And boom, that should be good. And then we want to make sure the design looks. We want to make sure it looks even. And then let's go ahead and press her. So I have it set to 12 seconds actually. 303. Remember every remember that every heat press is different. I used to use an Amazon heat press, a pink one, and it was a 15 by 15. And I used to have my temperature up to like 350, 360. So it depends. Um, and then sometimes the edges on that heat press. You want some chips? Tell your brother. Sometimes like the edges, like the outer corners won't heat properly but I haven't had any issues any issues zero issues since I got the stalls not trying to fusion heat press stalls makes the best heat press argue with your mama all right let's slide her out looking good as you can see just like before we have all of this that stayed and this is gonna be super cute okay guys it's been four minutes and it's time, it's time to peel. So here we are. And then I also brought down some tags because we need to brand our shirts. It's the last time I'm gonna tell y'all, probably not. But take that damn gilded tag about them shirts, okay? 
I'm gonna just go ahead and do it now. They are tear away for a reason, okay? And then I leave the I leave the size tag in there. I don't remove that because why? If my customer wants to remove it, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna put my tag right underneath there. Um, and then I'll peel it with my post press. But let's go ahead and get this off first. Let me show y'all. And it's nice and cool to the touch. Some people use like ice blocks um, or fans, but I'm not. I always press down the sides just to make sure that we're good and we're secure, even though you don't have to. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull this corner. And remember, um, you just rip it like a bandaid. And remember these parts here that were too small for powder to transfer, that stayed, okay? But of course I wouldn't sell them like that. This is again for my custom orders, so. Now we'll take our T-Seal finishing sheet, and I love this because um, you can't see me, but this is the T-Seal finishing sheet, and you can see that it has, you can hear it, but it has like, small little lines in it. it looks like a cotton shirt if you look at a cotton shirt close um and it pretty much helps the ink like embed the ink into the fabric so i'll put that on and i have my tag on there as well so i'll just peel it all off together and then for the t-seal i'm going to this time i'm going to leave it on the t-seal we're going to leave on for about 20 seconds press on that but there's shirt number one and let's go to shirt number two nice and cool and we're just gonna we're just gonna rip it off just like so. come up nice and tag out. This one is a Bella canvas. Put my tag in. Got our T-seal finishing sheet. I'll also link this as well. This one sheet has 500 uses. Okay, 500. You'll love it. Trust. Just trust me. This is the cleanup with DTF, okay? Imagine what the floor would look like if you were weeding vinyl. Well, honestly, you wouldn't be able to do it because you couldn't get all those colors with vinyl. So. And, voila, beautiful. And shirt number two. And she just responded to me about the other one. Okay, so she says whatever I think. So I love my customers trust me like that. She's a girl, whatever. Girl, it's whatever I think, so. But that's it, that's all. That's the DTF 1000 in action. We printed a four shirt order and we pressed two out of four of the shirts. Wanna change the color on that other one? That's the perks. That's a benefit and a perk of having your own direct-to-film printer because as you can see, if anything happened, any hiccups, any issues, you can just reprint it, okay? And then you can use the other ones as a tester or a sample, which of course I'll do that. I just ordered a whole lot of shirts, right? And the next video, I think I'm going to show y'all how I sell shirts on TikTok Live. TikTok shop live. Um, so that should be fun. Ordered a bunch of toddler shirts because I'm getting ready to make school shirts for my son for pre-K. I'm so sad, but excited for him, you know. He doesn't act like he's excited, but 
I know he is. He'll be excited once he start making. I know he'll be more excited once he start making friends and stuff. We've been doing flashcards, writing his name, getting him nice and prepared. And everything I do with my five year old, I do with my three year old. So just know my three year old is extra smart. But um, yeah, that's beside the point. If you are a custom apparel maker, I definitely recommend the DTF 1000. It will save your life. You will make so much more money and then you have the option of selling transfers if you want to, okay? Um, but custom orders, y'all know, makes a lot of money. So to speed your process up, you can print out as many designs as you want and then you just get to pressing, get to pressing, get to pressing. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Precious and I'm getting ready to head to the post office. Bye! I'll link everything that I used in the description box, okay? If you wanna buy the DTF printer, make sure to use my link to let Unanet know that I sent you. Also the um, T-Seal. It's all linked as well. And even if you wanna get a smaller DTF printer, let's say a DTF 100, or you wanted to get a bigger DTF printer, a DTF 4300, you can still use my link, okay? So yeah, that's it, that's all. If you need a link for something else you see on the site, let's say supplies or something like that, let me know and I'll send you one. Bye.